I stand in solidarity with the family Takadina. May Brian Takadina rest in peace due to police violence. I will have one minute in silence for all those victims of violence at the hands of police officers and even Crucito Herrera Cruz. It's a documented, filed, this is me waking up in 2005, court documents. One minute of silence for them. May everybody rest in peace and have the peace in their hearts to do right. Philo philosophically, as our legislator leaders, you all shall have a pocket constitution in your pocket. When we're people talking and articulating under Article 3, Section 3, it states, treason against the United States shall consist only of levying war against them or in adhering to enemies, giving them aid and comfort. So in that sense, by declaring that we live in a war or a hostile zone in Santa Barbara, I think we got it flipped. I think we have to look at the legalities. When we look at the legalities, and there's four definitions, public nuisance, corporation code, and penal codes 186, 20, 23, 30, of uh, how to basically classify Americanos, Chicanos, Chicanas in our community, that's hard. They're not a corporation. You can't find the east side. You can't find the west side in the Secretary of State's business portal. So how can you govern that under corporations code, madam? So the, the fallacy of the arguments shall be proven with legal prudence and advocacy in the superior courts. In 2009, I talked about positive enrichment in our community. In 2011, when I ran for city council again, I was against it, thanks to Larry Nimber and the Women of League of Women's Voters for that production. You could find it on YouTube, where I say, I'm totally against it on constitutional principles. When I ran in 2013, with some of the predecessors here, that one, congratulations. Ahora, a su servicio a la comunidad. Please do your work for the community, please. In that sense, I was against it for constitutional principles. So if this does get enacted through the Superior Court, don't worry, this is gonna go to the district courts right down the street in Ventura. And that broad stroke that you're trying to cover will be overturned. And then we're gonna realize wasted money on stupid fallacy legal arguments. Now we look at the human cost. No one talks about the human cost. What's ha has happened to the gentlemen, to the young ladies that have been deported? What happens to the families, the mothers, the kids that are not able to congregate in the freedom of expression, in the freedom of their own will in this community? We have to think about that. When we look at the positive enrichment programs, we're not trying enough. The only organization that had the CDBG money was 52 organizations. Primo Boxing was the only one that didn't get enacted. Now they're gone. No one's questioning that. 52 organizations. The one that was working with our youth, out. Why is it Casa Esperanza gets $101,000 of that CDBG money? That's over 14%. We shouldn't be policing mental health issues and acting as a de facto social service provider in our community. We have to get real. Where's the leadership? You've been elected to create the leadership in our community. Positive enrichment programs, youth services. Mr. Bendy White has talked about the stakeholders in economic development. I've been saying public infrastructure, youth empowerment, adult services. Well, Program 2112, Economic Development Program, doesn't have one person hired there. If you're talking about short-term and long-term goals, let's plan for it. Let's just not throw it up like hot air. 2112, Mr. White. We need economic plans for this small community. We could do much better than that. I know you all been elected for that reason. I pledge allegiance to the flag. One nation, we're all that one nation here. There's no you or I, us and them. But if you continue polarizing the situation, 
oh, that's going to get ugly. I can get all Chicano on you real quick. Remember the swastikas? I know who did that. Remember? Thank you. Otra vez a la comunidad, le vamos a decir, estos tales por cuales no tienen el entendimiento ni la filosofía para representarnos. We're 50% of the population, but we're still a racially polarized city. Dias? We need representation. District-based elections is very important to this community. This at-large system, rubbing elbows and being cahoots of tourism and dollar and profit is not worthy of the human cost. We the people. We are the people. You're the people. So if we say we the people, let's act on it. I just want to pray these last 10 seconds that we have in our hearts the compassion to treat us as humans. Even in our death, you're all going to be fucking knocking us. Your time's up.